Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Kayla LaFrance. This week, there's been a lot of traffic coming and going around the International Space Station. Late Monday, an uncrewed Soyuz MS-14 spacecraft successfully docked to the station on its second attempt. The unpiloted Soyuz launched last Wednesday, August 24th, from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan and originally rendezvoused with the station on Saturday for an autonomous docking. This first attempt was aborted after a problem was discovered in the rendezvous equipment at its originally planned docking port. For its second attempt, the uncrewed Soyuz spacecraft successfully docked to the aft port of the Zvezda service module, bringing with it 1,450 pounds of cargo and an experimental 350-pound humanoid robot known as the Skybot F850. This week also brought a farewell to the SpaceX 18 Dragon. After a 33-day mission to the International Space Station, the Dragon capsule was released from the Canada Arm 2 to begin a six-hour trip back home. Splashing down in the Pacific Ocean, the Dragon 18 capsule returned nearly 2,700 pounds of hardware and science experiments, completing this particular capsule's third mission to the station. On Monday, NASA astronaut Christina Cook reached the halfway point of her 328-day mission. Cook arrived to the station in a Soyuz spacecraft 164 days ago, on March 14th. Since arriving, she's been busy performing science experiments, in-flight maintenance, cargo ops, and much more. The 164 days left in her mission will add up to become the longest duration single flight for a woman. Cook celebrated this midpoint with a video celebration of Women's Equality Day and the female space pioneers who paved the way for her record-setting mission. I have truly been inspired by the struggle and triumph of so many women who dare to break new ground in all aspects of society. I even have the honor of being among those who are paving the way for the first women to set foot on the moon during NASA's Artemis program. And I hope to inspire not only her, but the first woman who will set foot on Mars. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag AskNASA. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space.